Hello, everybody, and welcome to Min Max Plays. Uh, I am here. I'm Ben Hansen. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called Dead Space 2, as you can tell from the title, for the very first time. Oh, Jupiter Be Beach, thanks for well, subbing on Twitch. We appreciate it. Everyone on YouTube, you can check out uh, all of our live streams at twitch.tv slash minmaxshow. Thank you so much, Jupiter Beach, for supporting us over there on Twitch. Um, I'm going to be playing Dead Space 2 as kind of a follow-up to the deepest dive on Dead Space 1. And at the same time, I'm going to be giving thanks to everybody who doesn't let that opening cutscene play. No, giving thanks to everybody who supports us for our new charity drive for Hopewell Music. We're raising money for a small community music school here in North Minneapolis. So if you follow the link at the top of the screen, which is givemn.org slash crossfade, your donation will show up on the screen and we'll be also be saying thank you in a funky way at the end of the overall charity drive. Uh, so thanks to everybody who has donated so far to this community school to give some underprivileged kids in North Minneapolis a chance to learn a, to play an instrument. So Andrew Valla, David Yannity, Beth Dunaway, Bob Buell, Austin Winnery, I know that name, uh, Dustin Horning, uh, Stephen McGregor, Alexandra Snyder. Will you stop being mean game? I'm trying to. Mitchell Hensler. Uh, Charles McGregor, of course, Gareth Coker, big donation. Thank you. The composer of Ori and Halo Infinite donating to this charity drive. That's incredible. Jonathan Borden, Fernando Aranzo, Philip, uh, thank you to everybody who has donated so far. If you donate to the link at the top of the screen, uh, your donation will pop up there on the screen. Hopefully it's all layout-wise looking okay. Let me double check that I didn't break anything. So it's going to be kind of like a light charity stream, if you're into that concept. I'll do a little, I'll do a little scrolling up to make sure all this stuff is sufficient. All right, I think that's okay. So right at the top there. Okay, that game has got to stop screaming at me. Uh, I'll minimize that. Hopefully that'll still work. Bring this over here. Bring this over here. Okay. Hello, Pale Pilgrim. Hello, everybody. Uh, XY says he'd love the deepest space for Dead Space. Oh, good. Or the deepest dive for Dead Space. Thank you so much. Um, Pale Pilgrim, blah, 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 blah. Ben, ever think of inviting Dan Tack on an episode of the Minmax show? That'd be cool. That would be cool. Um, I don't want to bug too Game Informer folks too much. Um, I'll let them do their own thing, but let's jump into this. Um, Drum Kid says, layout wise, I could use a little more Ben. Maybe swap your webcam and the gameplay. Okay, that sounds good. Deepest space for dead dives, says Jeff. I'm a person waving. Okay, let's let's actually play a game here, folks, because that's what Twitch is all about, and we're here to please. Oh, a lot of love for Metroid Other M. Um, I know Kyle streamed it not too long ago. I do think it'd be interesting one to like talk about, just to, like, well, 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 give that game the, you know, everything it might deserve, just game design wise. It's not going to be dunking on the game if we did it for the deepest dive, but. Just to be clear, there are no plans to do it for the deepest dive right now. Martin Smiley, thank you so much for jumping in over here for the big charity drive. The link is at the top of the screen and donating $100 to Hopewell Music. That's incredible. Now, I think I speak on behalf of everybody when I say, keep talking and don't play the game. Uh, let's actually jump in here and play a game now that all the settings are as dandy as can be, and we actually have some color for this thing. Um, boy, this is really the glory days of EA, wasn't it? Online pass and all that fun stuff. All right, and we're here to play the multiplayer. That's interesting, they have stats on the top. That's a, that's a funky idea. We want more setting screens, okay. Jupiter Beach says, hey, Ben, I bought a MinMax hoodie and just got here recently. It's very nice. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, fun person waving says, this is the game they showed our grandmas for a commercial, right? Yeah, was that your grandma? I think they recruited my grandma for that one. From rural Minnesota, they wanted to make sure they had the full gamut of grandma. Uh, oh, my gosh. These donations for Hopewell keeping a, keep coming in. Thank you so much to Joseph McCarthy. Sorry, McCartan. I'm sorry, Joseph McMartin for supporting the charity. We appreciate it. Now, it's time to go to a new game. All right. Love it. Let's see what we got here. Zealot. That's fun. Or hardcore. Well, let's go normal. And uh, I hope you like watching me die. Let's see how this goes. 
So here's my history with this. I either produced or watched Dan and his dad back at Game Informer play the opening of this game. That was a long time ago. Probably 10 years ago. So I remember the eye stuff and I remember running and that's about it. Uh, Dr. Chug Butt Mud's asking if I played Edge of Attorney on, on Steam. No, I didn't play Edge of Attorney yet. Or Eternity, that came out last year. Is it good? Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. This oh, is fun seeing more Nicole. <laughs> Sorry, Isaac, look at the time difference. Oh, I'll call you okay. back later. It's okay. <clears throat> what are you doing? What's the volume, everybody? You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac's talking. Thank you. Weird. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. They both look so much better. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range there, Shag. Oh, that's fun. Isaac! Too loud, too quiet? Let me know how it is. You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your... Somebody requested... Somebody requested subtitles and we aim to please. Uh, sounds good? Perfect audio? Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. Oh, we got some people that, some people that prefer the silent Isaac Clark. That's interesting. Um, I thought I was maybe in that camp, but honestly, after um, after the deepest dive, I was fully convinced by everybody else on that panel that like it is, and the game itself, that it is glaring not to have him talk. I thought it'd be more on board for the silent protagonist, but there's a lot of stuff where they're trying to be emotional with Isaac in that game, and it just does not work. Kiter says subtitles from our man Zach. Yeah, that's true. Zach Mumbach, who was on the deepest dive for Dead Space, uh, he's the one who rigged up all these subtitles so thanks to zach shout out man okay Those here we go nightmares that you've been having about your dead girlfriend what was her name nicole i didn't want it to end like this i really wanted to see you again the therapy session Just to start once. a game is always a good choice good exposition it's got everything you need i always loved you yes Nicole Brennan. It's her speech from the end. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a planet cracker class vessel. The Ishimura. USG Ishimura. Yes. Ishimura. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. So, what did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this? Here's what I'm wondering. Were, was I a fan of Until Dawn, Ben? Honestly, not really. Uh, I'm not a big horror guy in general. Um, I am not drama memed up. <laughs> because people know that I, I have motion sickness. Um, no, Until Dawn, I enjoyed it. But yeah, I probably only played the first third, maybe first half, something like that. Um, Kyle Impersonator says I should go watch Jacob Geller's essay after this. Yeah, you're probably right. I bet that's very good. Um, but here's what I'm wondering. So, spoilers for the end of Dead Space 1. It ends with what looks like a necromorph with Nicole's face on it attacking Isaac in the ship. So, obviously, if that's not physically happening to him, his mind is just completely shattered, which I guess maybe is demonstrated by the straitjacket here and all this stuff. So, basically, he is Sarah Connor in Terminator 2. Is that what's going on here? I'd imagine. Okay. It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. There we go. This whole me. thing. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? She's going to do her hiss. Her patented hiss. Jesus Christ. Isaac, Isaac can you hear me? Are they going to keep the make us whole thing throughout? Isaac. And Isaac, this is a gentleman, I forget his name, but he was then at Crystal Dynamics. I worked with him on the Dana, Tomb Raider cover story. I found Isaac Clark. He's the face Repeat model here. Him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. 
Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. So... Where, where am I? No, it's not a full playthrough. All right, I, I know you're confused right now. But I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> All right, yep. That seems about right. Oh, it's those stupid flying things. I hate them so much. Oh, that is fun that you get to see like that up close and personal of a version of that transformation. There's a health bar on the straight jacket? Going this way. We're going to keep going this way. I assume you can super die here, but I kind of want to test the boundaries. Ah! I mean, this is fun. I mean, they have that running sequence pretty early on. Ah! In the first dead space as well. Follow the light whenever you're in doubt about where to go next in a game. Ah! No! I didn't like Kevin Smith's toss! Get out of here! The straight jacket health bar is hilarious. I wonder how the physics are in this, because they're so all over the place in the first one, and judging from that head rolling away, I'd imagine it's about the same. Alright, and now we're fully happy and healthy and ready to go. Uh, and ready to thank people like Joseph Dowdy and uh, Joseph McMartin and Martin Smile and Ian Clark uh, for all donating to help support uh, Hopewell Music, the small music school in North Minneapolis. You can follow the link at the top of the screen. We'll give you a shout out on this stream and then we're going to be doing a bonus stream where we're really going to be uh, blowing you up in a big way as well. So thanks to everybody who has supported our new charity drive. We appreciate it. I won't turn off my Xbox 360 console. Appreciate it. Banjo 92 reminds me to aim for the legs. Solid advice. Solid. This was not until the second half of Dead Space 1 that I really learned that lesson that it's stupid not to just go for the legs. But their arms are so tempting. They're just like those stupid tentacles like blah, 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 just right next to you at all times. Okay. Uh, these guys are going to be evil or a hallucination. Can I really hit? No, I can't hit X to heal right now, but thank you, XY. That is tempting. What the hell? This is good. This is a good opening. Out of my way! Ah! <laughs> they spit out the half of them. Yeah, they love their gallery deaths. That's a that's the perfect phrase for it. I don't think I'd heard that before. Okay. All right. I'm guessing all of these characters are very important that they're referencing right now. No. Strauss. Okay. Should I watch much better today? Yeah. Don't you think? It hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, no, no I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't... There. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. Hey, all right, you. monkey. Thanks for being here. Welcome. It was black. Thanks for watching us on Twitch. Deep black and glowing room with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? <laughs> Come on, Strauss, what? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like, but I can't remember what she The symbol, Strauss! What did the symbols tell you? He's a question his favorite show. Fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis. Suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, no! and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. This still looks pretty good. So I gotta say. No 
Cross. So this is a uh, 2011. Like just the now the art I feel like has taken a huge step up from the first one. I understand the environment so different, so maybe that's why it pops. But just the lighting, like this is a really cool space. <laughs> like Isaac could kind of like live here. Just a casual tour. So he was in a straight jacket and then just a bunch of time passed. I'm still confused about that opening versus this reality. Yep, okay. Come on, man. Thank you for I remember you. I said we all the key subjects need to be eliminated. Listen, terminated. Which one more? Listen to me, man. What matters? Listen to me! We can both get out of here. Just just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Uh, come on, man. What is this? There's no escaping from what I've done. It just just happened. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> just take it easy. So, what? Did he stabbed him? It's red. It's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Cut the restraints. Oh, thank you, of course. Go ahead. Take it. And now I'll be I your tutorial. Be All right. This looks exactly the same. Oh, it's B to restore health. That's different. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. No! <laughs> oh! Does he need to be so intimidating when he says that? He should be a little kinder, don't you think? Jesus Christ. I forgot what Dead Space is like, even though I just finished the first one for the first time, like, last week. Hey! Do you see that? So they're simulating, like, a real-world thing there. It's interesting. Flashlight. This is a novel concept, you know, it's horror game? Not in the first game. It's pretty wild. Check his pulse, do you think? Okay. Still. Boy, they kept the physics. I love it. <laughs> this is not funny. Come on, Twitch. You shouldn't defile a man's corpse like this. That's not right. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna defile this man's corpse until we get another donation to Hopewell Music uh, for their music school in North Minneapolis. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're stuck at 3100 right now, but thanks to everybody who's followed the link at the top of the screen and donated to Joseph Dowdy, Joseph McMartin, and Martin Simile, E.N.T. Clark. Everybody here is coming in a hero. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Get those numbers up. Let's go. We got a goal of $4,000 for a charity drive this time around. Let's see if we can hit it. Banjo points up, 3,100 is great for being up just a couple hours. That's true. That's true. Uh, but this is going to be, I think uh, next Friday is going to be the last day of the charity drive. So hopefully we can crush 3,100 3, even tonight. Uh, that'd be awesome if those kept coming in. You can follow the link at the top of the screen. You'll get a shout out on the stream. And then also we'll give you a shout out in our big grand finale wrap up. What did you hit last year for Extra Life? Asked Banjo. I'm not sure for Extra Clark. Life what it was. Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age of seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. And now they're gonna teach us about navigation, right? Can I do it right now? Yeah, hell yeah. Perfect. Honestly, it looks really good. It, uh, I think that first one looked really good, but this is significantly better. Just like the detail on the straight jacket and stuff is really impressive. 
as well the agent says last year we hit the bottom of our wallets with our dang generosity that was amazing yeah extra life is so amazing i like that as like the one huge charity drive uh that we do every single year and then we could trickle in a couple of smaller charity drives but hey nothing to stop this one from going over the top so you can follow the link at the top of the screen is it over there Uh, leave a comment and we'll read it on the stream. Okay. It doesn't want us to go through the light. Interesting. Oh, I just missed it. Just miss you. Dead space, every single entry should be called dead space colon, you just missed it. Because it is comical how many times that happens in dead space one. Where you enter a room and something just scatters by or somebody's just dying or somebody's just ramming a ladder and playing with the physics in a fun way all right let's head over here pale pilgrim oh first time viewer hello mm, tk welcome uh it says so is it a remake coming or is there dead space 4 2 or is it still ambiguous just a remake of the first one for now but they're testing the waters for where they want to go in the future it seems like so here's hoping it's something cool but I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that remake now. Okay, pick up the green herb. That has to be a reference, right? There's no way that's not a Resident Evil reference. More herbs. More suicidal guys who are apologizing to Isaac for everything they did to him. Hey. God, I mean, they are, this is a room where they're forcing you to learn the flashlight. Ah! Gah! That got me. You, scary games, you're not allowed to make non-scary things scary. You can't turn TVs into scary things. Oh my God. Hello? Coming through. I like that he's in the straight jacket, but he's still got the, what, foot holograms? Honestly, this is significantly scarier than the first one. And I'm on the internet right now. And I'm allowed to save. When I was just playing this in the basement by myself, I don't even know if I was ever this scared in the first one. Okay. Nothing to be scared of. Let's see what we got for inventory. All right, same controls there. <laughs> it's happening again. That's fun. Oh, why can't Isaac catch a break? Oh. Again, thanks everybody who's donated to our charity stream at the top of the page. It's givemn.crossfade or .org slash crossfade. Uh, we have Matthew Theis, Reed Harry, Edgar Vasquez, Ryan Bizadny, Thomas Folk, Joseph Morris, Donnie Danico, Max Thurin, Tommy, Toby Martin, uh, Peter Vader. Leo Vader's dad donated to Hopewell Music to help teach some kids uh, some instruments to get them free or uh, lowered rate classes. So thanks to Peter Vader. That's very sweet. Joseph Stanichar, former Game former intern. Thank you. Garrett Peters. Joel Williams, Wade Wojcik, former Game Informer video editor, Serial Vasquez, I don't know who that is. Uh, Philip Stewart, Fernando Orozco, Jonathan Borden, Gareth Coker, the Ori composer donated $500 to our charity stream. Can you believe that? Matthew Helgeson, of course, there's Matt. Uh, Mitchell Hensier, Alexand Alexandra Snyder, Stephen McGregor, Dustin Horning, Austin Winnery coming in, Bob Buell, Beth Dunaway, David Yanity, Andrew Valla, Matthew Lynch, Ian Clark, Martin Simile, Smiley, Joseph McMartin, and Joseph Dowdy. Thank you to everybody who's donated to Hopewell Music so far. We are coming up on our goal. If you donate uh, any amount to the link at the top of the screen, um, we'll give you a shout out on the stream and then also a shout out in a bigger way in the future at the end of the charity drive. Okay. As long as this game doesn't scare me again, I think we should be just fine. Sitting pretty. It's not scaring me. The volume's okay for everybody? I feel like I could go higher. All right, let's see. No, 
I'm gonna murder Cole Visions. I didn't sign uh, up for this. So that's gonna be throughout the entire game, you think? Like the Cole Visions? That's pretty interesting. Um, you think they kind of wrung everything they could out of the whole Nicole saga in the first game, but I'd be interested. So she's like communicating what the marker and the necromorphs want. Is that the best way to, to frame it? Hello, Eddie from Outer Space. Thanks for being here. Um, and so there's probably going to be some new crisis that they're trying to deal with. Ah! This is new. All right. Little Metal Gear in here. What do you think is the first game that had you crawl around an event? Ah! Doom's nothing but one big vent. Yeah. Ludo points out the sound design on the ducks. That is true. That does sound great. They are so loud. I mean, as with everything in Dead Space, everything is so singular and so loud. Everything's so focused and so loud. It's really beautiful. Excuse me while I crack a bubbly for comfort. Okay. What could it be? This necromorph that I did see. Can you help me guess? This mystery. Tideman is a bad Call name. Me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. Do you think I eventually get ammo for my flashlight? It's weird that this is like a gun slot. Please consult your rig. Please consult your rig. What is over here, though? Nothing. Did I watch the Duke Nukem... Begins prequel trailer. I did. Um, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I remember visiting Gearbox and they were talking a little bit about their work on that and how it was halted and stuff. Um, I will not consult my rig. I'm going to help this man. What the hell? Interesting. Well, then I'll save this man. No, 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 not, not what I was looking for. That's interesting. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on now! This is different. All right, baby. Good job, Visceral. The idea of using Kinesis in a couple of different ways that quickly is really interesting. I mean, who needs ammo in this game? If I can just do this all day? You kidding me? Okay, so I don't want you. What, can I take the body? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on now. We're all trying to have a good time. Hey, has anybody donated to the Crossfade charity drive yet? What do you mean, no? It's ten dollars. Five dollars. We'll give you a shout out on the stream, and then we'll have a big stream at the end to give you another shout out here, and you're helping put some positivity back into the world and living up to the whole getting better part of Min Max. So we'd appreciate it. Follow the link at the top of the screen. And we'll give you the shout out you've always craved. Hellbringer asks who let me stream. Yeah, we probably should have put it to a poll. But that's cool. Like the idea of them using Kinesis in that different way already. Because yeah, I remember Zach Mumbach in The Deepest Dive for Dead Space 1, he was saying that you could like pick up the spikes from a Necromorph's arm and stuff and use that, which I did not even realize was an option. Seems like a relatively pro move in that game. All right, so let's restore a little bit of health. How many do I have now? I got one more. Let's do it. Let's go to the max, baby. Full health, Isaac. That's what I say. Just Levi brings up that this might be the best game. Hmm. That could be. That could be. Now, there's nothing spooky here, is there? Evacuation in 
This feels like something that feels very overpowered now, but they're not going to... Ah! <laughs> Damn it! That they're not going to have the poles and stuff throughout the entire rest of the game, I would imagine, right? Like, once you get a gun, they'll be like, whatever. What is this? What am I holding? I want the pole. Give me my pole back, you monstrous beast. Not you! Alright, well, you're coming with me, buddy. Okay, and you can stay there. And then let's go ahead and open you. All right. You did this to me, so I'm gonna shoot you at the next guy. You don't need the poles, there are other sharp objects you can use. Is it throughout the entire game then? Because that's really remarkable. Okay, you stay there, stay there. Let's, let's head up here. Not you. Pray coffee cup? Not you, actually helpful pole. I want this guy. All right, let's see what we got. I hear you on the other side of the door. I know you want this, man. Suddenly I'm taking the power stance. You want this necromorph alive? You better stop scaring me, guys. I'm freaking serious. Hey! Come out! I will stomp you! They can't have dolls and crap lying around. Jesus. I feel like they upped the sound effects on those, uh, on that crate stomp by quite a bit. Now what is this human eye you keep mentioning? Interesting. Uh, this old rat does not like the fact that I'm playing a spooky space game. Well, gotta do it for the deepest dive. All right, come on, buddy. This is like Half-Life 2 with the gnome or whatever. We're gonna drag him the rest of the way. I never <gasps> used melee in the first one. I don't know if I was playing it wrong, um, and if y'all would recommend using it in this one, but... something that can help you, buddy. We're gonna keep him rolling until we can use him against another Necromorph. No. Wait. Was that him? Okay. Oh, we have to go buy this maniac? I guess we can use you. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Alright. Can I... Oh, see, I would have liked to just wheel him into the other room. But apparently, that's not going to be an option. Oh, I accidentally used my stupid health thing. I didn't want to do that. Okay, what are you now? Plasma energy, I know that. Uh, hello machine. Supreme, mash RB to stomp many times. Multiple stomps in a row. All right, let's see this. Where did she come from? Where did she go? All right. Um, so we're looking for something that can hurt this. Okay, the red is just like the first one. I can't open that. We're getting a lot of ammo, so we're probably getting so close. Yeah, I hear ya, buddy. I hear ya. I don't like what I'm hearing, but I guess we'll come help ya. You! You! Thank God! Please, come help me! God, I wish I could just throw him out of here. That... They went so nuts with the sound of that. Guys, like, are you a doctor? Thank God! Please come help me. They call me Doctor Stump. 
Uh, Are you a doctor? All right, hang on. Let's get a Twitch poll. You. Um, you. Thank God. Please come help me. Responses. Uh, let's see. So uh, the question is: Stop surgical cutter. Yes. No. Jesus, man. Okay, we're Help gonna make me. that one minute and let's start me? the poll on Twitch. Let's see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's see how everybody's doing on our fundraiser. Oh my gosh, we have uh, new supporters. Let's go refresh this. Uh, this isn't for us. This is for uh, Hopewell Music, a school oh, in North Minneapolis. Thank you to Zach Eink. Jesus for donating fifty dollars to help me. teach kids in North Minneapolis me. how to play their favorite instrument, like the way they put it in the video, is that idea of like, boy, uh, are you uh, a doctor? it'd be fun to learn to play a violin when you're a kid, but where the hell are you going to get a violin? I'm not going to actually pay for one of these suckers. Uh, are you a um, and so the school is all about private, individual lessons between teachers, Jesus, music experts, help and me. students. So Would support uh, the link at the top, and we'll give you a shout out on the stream. Um, are you a doctor? But thank you again to Zach Eink, Joseph Dowdy, Joseph McMartin, Martin Smiley. I saw Bob Buell jump in there as well with a big donation. So thanks everybody for being so generous. You. All right, let's see you. how this uh, poll's doing. 56% of people Come say help to me. help this man. All right. Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my God. Oh, that is funny. So is that going to be my plasma cutter? Oh, shit. Isaac's sorry. messing up. Hey, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. There it is. Oh, it's a tighter spread. Legs. Ah! And now it is, okay. Now it is extra reload, like it should be. Instead of extra heal. Okay, I'm glad they uh, fixed that little ditty. And I'm glad I could help this man, you know? I don't claim to be a doctor, but at least I'm doing my part. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Don't come in here, nurse! <gasps> oh. So you're saying I should stomp all these guys after I kill them to get more stuff? Was this in the first game? Was I missing this? Because I was not stomping corpses at all. That seems very helpful indeed. My god. Alright. Let's see what we got. We got a little amigo over here. Hey! God, I want to just grab him and hold his stupid arms down. Okay, this seems pretty cool. Thanks, hell yeah. Thank, thank you for hiking the Appalachian Trail. Stomping corpses was not in the first game. They didn't give anything, okay. God, look at that freaking dude. Hey. Hey, remember that planet we were on? Hey. Hey. Can I just take him with me now? Give me your arm. I said give me your arm. Oh, look at this. So it's always worth shooting everything so much more than you think. <laughs> it's just a necromorph middle finger. Nope, not you. I don't want the helpful spike thing. I'm just interested in sending a message to these necromorphs that I'm walking up against. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember Dana. the creatures to stop them. I yeah. know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay. Visceral down. logo, isn't it? Thanks. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Cut off their limbs. Who's? Did this guy know the other guy? How do they know to write that? He learned this pretty fast. 
He must have seen like the reference footage from the Ishimura and was like, I know. I know what to write in my own blood for my intestines to get this point across. Kind of just the thing. Thanks again to Zach Eink for following the link at the top of the screen and donating to help support Hopewell Music. We're getting very close to our overall goal. So thanks again to everybody who's donated so far. We appreciate it. It's nice to have charity drives back here at MinMax. It's been a little while, so it's a, a lovely, lovely thing. Now, speaking of charity drives, where's my arm? Oh, so look at this. Okay, so the flashlight is just automatically attached. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. I think I missed... Oh, God. I feel like... Okay, did I shoot everybody in here? Or stomp them, I guess, is the better question. This is... Are the humans going to give me stuff? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, you stay there. I'm on a mission. To talk to Dana. Fake tropical settings are working for me. Ah! Again, not fair. Not fair. And now you're gonna throw a scary thing at me for real. You can't do that fake out dead space. Yep, there it is. Eat it! Eat your own arm! I don't know where you are! I don't know where you are! I don't know where you are! Okay. Big guy, big guy in the scrubs. Here we go. One arm, one arm. Okay. And don't get closer. Don't get closer. Don't get closer. Oh, look at that. I'll take it. I gotta get used to that new reload button. All right. Um. Well, I guess Isaac is kind of done his job here. Oh, thanks for the big sub, Divorce Cougar. Thanks for being here. So this is, okay, this is like picking up the little necromorph spike. I wonder if Zack is sure that I could do this in the first one. This seems pretty cool. I like they're just launching this little projectile at people. Kyle said that this game is EA's best game. What do y'all think EA's best game is? You know, if you had to pick. If you had to choose. Oh, these are ketchup packets from McDonald's. That's cool. Hmm, Dead Space 2. I'd probably say... <laughs> Mass Effect 2, I guess. Even though I, I like one. I like Mass Effect 1. Burnout Paradise. NBA Street. Any contenders? <laughs> Haven't they? I assume what this is all about is they've been studying Necromorphs for a long time, so it's weird that they're still surprised by this. Or maybe they're not studying Necromorphs, they're just studying Isaac. I guess I should be asking. How Necromorphs got all the way back. Oh, Hellbringer, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. Thank you, Hellbringer. You're almost as generous as Zach Eink and Joseph Dowdy and Joseph McMartin over here for following the link at the top of the screen to donate to Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis. Help support uh, kids learning a new instrument. Or an instrument, period. Okay. Here we go. Better be stopping that rattling. All right. I want to use this on you. Knock on the door like a raptor. Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is a real contender, isn't it? Who is? 
I'm trying to help you. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna come back for you, Raptor Claw. Alright, where do you want me to go? Oh, not where the guy was running to? Seems weird. Maybe it's all downstairs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess there are a lot of EA games. Yeah, you're right, you forget about, like, The Sims. Like, The Sims might be the best EA game realistically here, right? Hey! That's fun. Okay, so Isaac has been here a Data long time. Didn't work. That's fun. Security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long we lockdown. There we go. Here we go. Come on down, friends. Oh, that's so good. Stay down, clown. Okay. Cool it on the number of necromorphs here. I, I'm fine with like two. This seems like a lot. Reload timeout. Oh, I said reload timeout. Okay. Take another limb. Somebody recommends. Commander Cool asks, "How did I miss it? Did Dana. I miss something?" Dana. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? Great you're questions, on Isaac. Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal. I bet he's not, though. Honestly, I thought of, um, I thought of how generous Jeremy Tanner and Jacob Schmidt were. Look at this. New, uh, donors to our charity drive to raise money for Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis. Teach some kids to play some music instruments. Um, thank you to Jeremy Tanner for giving $20 and Jacob Schmidt for giving 15 Thank you so much, Jacob and Jeremy. Mwah. This one's for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, we'll be giving you another shout out at the end of the charity drive. So anybody who donates now, it's kind of a double whammy. So look alive. You're going to shout out on this stream and then again later. Um, take limb from dead necromorph to kill next one, then take limb from that one. Repeat. Yeah, that's that's how it all works. Pale Pilgrim says, well done, boys and girls, for the kids. Hell yeah, for the kids. And I talked about it, I think, in a little bit. I think in our pitch video talking about this charity drive. But a lot of charity drives are big and ambitious and you don't really know where the money's going this is going to a small music school directly to giving kids free lessons or reduced rate lessons at hopewell music so if you donate any amount you are actively having a real impact on a child's life uh so you might be creating the next great musician with your donation so we appreciate your support here now can i hurt somebody with this or is it only the spikes do you think? It's probably only the spikes, isn't it? Oh, they give you the option to read it. In the last one, I think it was automatic. EarthGov. Increased tensions. All right. Fans of lore. Hey, power nodes are back. Hell yeah. Also, Moss flies back. Thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. Thank you, Moss fly. And thanks again to Jeremy Tanner, Jacob Schmidt, Zach Eink, Joseph Dowdy for uh, supporting our new charity drive. The big link at the top of the screen. Uh, we're getting that much closer to uh, the new goal of $4,000 for a charity drive. I think we can hit it. I think we can truly do it. 
assume I got everything. That one guy really threw me off when he said, how could I miss it? I feel like I missed something big. Is there like a new weapon or something that I missed? Hey, Necromorph! I'm on my way to the save! Better not attack me! Like Isaac's gonna do an Isaac style here. Oh, they changed the sound too, so it's no longer uh, down with the sickness. That's interesting. Oh, you're making a joke with a dialogue. Thank you, Commander Cool. I would have been tortured thinking that I missed something cool other than a commander. Okay. Nope. 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 Loud rooms, no good. Oh, I hate this. Are these the gravity things? No. From the first one? Charlie! You have to burp, Charlie! All right. Come on, everybody. That was the most boring text log I've ever read in my life. That base is ridiculous. All right. Oh my God, stop being so loud, game. That's not the deal. You're supposed to be quiet so I can hear the enemies. Oh God, it's gonna be a quarantine room. What the hell? Is it a timer? Okay. Well, this is a dilly of a pickle. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take this. Is that gonna work? Let's see you close that now. That feels a little too janky to be the solution. Is it this big thing? You're missing something. Somebody says. <clears throat> I hope I don't have to crush every human. I hope they don't have stuff. What's all this? Oh, it's like a Batman thing, okay. All right. Oh no, something's gonna jump out. There he is. Ah! Stasis! Alright, I'll be over here. Don't mind me. Stasis meter recharges slowly over time. That's an interesting choice that a video game studio made over 10 years ago. <laughs> Now, don't mind me. Um, huh, that's interesting. Okay, so no more stasis economy. Interesting. So now we can do our old favorite. Also, they changed the controls there. Okay. Why now for stasis? B for grab. Can recharge the stations also. That's interesting. Okay. Well, nobody's perfect. Drink it! Drink it! Hey! It's too early for new enemies! You're not the leaper, are you? Is he new or is he just a weird looking guy? Ah! I think these guys are new. They still have limbs like the rest of us. Thanks for the sub, Scrappy. Scrappy, uh, Scrappy Hero Pup. Appreciate it. Okay. 
take that. I'll take that. And I'll give the page a little refresh here. Oh my gosh, we have more donations coming in. Let me refresh this page over here so it's on the screen. Thank you so much, everybody who's donating at the link above. For the charity stream, this is Suzanne Allison gave twenty dollars in honor of Roche, 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 Roche. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Mwah, appreciate it. Uh, Michael, uh, boy, I'm sorry. Mekichesek, Mekichesek. Please let me know, Michael, what that is. But thank you for donating fifteen dollars. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. All the money goes to Hopewell Music, a community music school in North Minneapolis. So follow the link at the top of the screen. We'll give you a shout out here, and then we'll have a special shout out that's coming later. Oh, Average Snorlax, thank you. Thanks everybody, this is great. This is a fun way to celebrate um, kids learning how to play music. They could learn to play Jason Graves' biggest hits. From the Dead Space series, that is. Machazik. I'm, so I'm never gonna remember that, Michael, and I apologize profusely. Isaac never really learned to do the thing where you like close a dead human's eyes. Like he thinks this is how you do it. Uh, good night. Look at this. Look at this lighting. Honestly, this is really sweet for 2011. It's very impressive. Average Norlax says, I hope that I just funded the next famous triangle composer. Uh, Blake Hester says, your episode with Haley was an all-timer. Please have her on more. Huge fan of her work. Oh, thank you, Blake Hester. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Yeah, honestly, maybe I need to go back and check our DM history or something, but I felt like it was insane. Of like, how have I not thought about having Haley on the MinMax Show podcast? Like, of course we should have done that a long time ago. I know she's very busy and all that stuff, so. Um, yeah, I played Dead Space 1 on the Xbox Series X as well uh, for, for Pale Pilgrim. Just in case you were curious, um, works out well. I honestly, I'm I'm enjoying my Series X more than I'm enjoying my PlayStation Five, and a lot of it's just like I get tickled pink just going through Game Pass and all the old games that are on there. It's a lot more fun than every six months having a game that I'm excited to play on PS Five. If I had to choose between those, I mean, come on. Uh, how long we've been going here, asked John. Uh, a little over an hour. Does this have the FPS boost? I don't know. To share. All right. Um, I haven't tried putting an original Xbox disc in my Xbox Series X yet. Do I have any? I think I do. Maybe that's how we can end the stream. Try popping in a disc. That seems. I haven't popped in any disc into my Series X now. Now that I think about it. Oh no. That's the whole point of getting this big thing. Okay. Hey. It's Isaac's big elevator and he wants to go. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. And perfect. And nothing bad ever happens in an elevator in dead space. What's this? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. No! the subtitles. Come on. Can I do anything? I just have to look at your streaming face? The subtitles really step on it by repeating the twinkle twinkle thing. Isaac! Secret Hunkzilla. Uh, I did not factor it in. He's such a dope in the first game. Uh, but thank you, I'm sorry, to Christopher Cuevas for donating $20 to Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis. Uh, thank you, Chris Cuevas. And then David Olson donating $25. Thank you, everybody. That's very sweet of you. That's uh, very generous to see. Uh, we appreciate it. You can follow that link at the top of the screen and donate to create the next great musician coming from Minneapolis. We have Prince. We have Bob Dylan. We have Lizzo, people tell me. Uh, we have Brother Ali, Atmosphere. We have the Descendants. Help me out, Minnesota musicians. Help me out, chat. The point is you can create the next of all of those by following that link and helping to give students free instrument lessons at Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis. Okay. Here we go. Uh, oh, they just pop a balloon. That's so diabolical. 
All right, let's see. Can I pop these? Oh, can I grab them? Oh, come on, game. Do I have to get closer? I can grab them. Who wants to grab a lamp when you can... Can I pop them with a lamp? <laughs> Just the thud. Like you're hitting a brick wall. Chairman Donovan. Dr. Brooks said this many times. I'll say it again. I don't like getting a thousand text messages. Uh, such secrecy as they're never so isolated. Left alone. If you don't get some training from the scene, I'm gonna. Hmm. I don't want to die, they wrote. Oh, wait. The descendants are not from Minnesota? <laughs> Is that, that's probably true. Who am I thinking of? The replacements! I'm sorry. Forgive me, Blake Hester. The replacements is who I'm thinking of. And that's why I'm a music idiot. And I should never be allowed on our music podcast Crossfade ever again. Speaking of which, our episode coming up this Friday, I am so excited about. We have uh, Darren Korb, the composer for Hades and Bastion, all of Supergiant's games, the voice of Zagreus in Hades. Uh, he's going to be on our music podcast Crossfade dissecting um, the Beatles' Abbey Road. And then... Matt Helgeson is also going to be dissecting uh, songs for the deaf from Queens of the Stone Age and vice versa. So you can subscribe to Crossfade on your favorite podcast app. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to this episode. Like, just hearing Darren Korb is going to be brilliant, hearing him dissect one of his favorite albums and the fact that he chose the Beatles. It's like, oh, hell yeah. And for, like, our Charity Drive episode, I'm so excited for that. I think it's going to be so fun. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, all of those text logs are pretty dry. I felt like they had so much lore to convey through those text logs in the first one. And this one is just kind of so far meh. Pale Pilgrim says uh, he can never get enough of Helgeson's voice. I can't either. I've listened to it for a long time. I listened to it on the MinMax show long before, or sorry, on the Game Informer show long before I was ever on that show to begin with. Real Deal One says, wait, he voices Zagreus? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Maybe he'll do the voice on the show. Maybe he'll sing a song from Abbey Road as Zagreus. And actually, if you're a supporter on Patreon, you can go over and submit a... Uh, you can submit a question for them to answer right now. Uh, so you can ask the composer of Hades anything you want, um, including... Will you please sing your favorite Beatles line as line as Zagreus from, from Hades? I know that's obnoxious. You don't have to do it, but if you're interested in hearing that, you could do it right now. Oh my god. Get out of here, dude. Few too many eyes in that shit. Is this the switch? That's weird. Uh, also voices Skelly in Hades, says Moist Goose Flesh. That is the worst name I've ever heard in my life. Moist Goose Flesh? What is wrong with you? Good God, man. All right, let's see. Ah, let's just carry on with this mission. Everything's good in Isaac's neighborhood. They want us to go in here. And they want you to think that you're always safe in a save room. The first one. Yep, there it is. There it is! There it is! Great. <laughs> I hope you learned a lesson that you're not safe in a save room. And always leave a note. God, they are just throwing power nodes at you. That's a really fun little reveal moment. Okay, we got the store. Let's give a save. Hmm, step on the scale, it works, somebody says. What? That sounds absurd. I will do that. I will, I will. 
Again, thank you to David Olson, Christopher Cuevas, Susan Allison, uh, Michael M, Jeremy Tanner, Jacob Schmidt, Zach Eink, Joseph Dowdy, everybody for following the link on the screen. I think it's over there, right? Would it be? Correct me if I'm not. Uh, correct, uh, but uh, follow that link on the screen and then you can donate uh, to Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis. Welcome They're big fans of Dead Space over there. How dare they change this? Okay. Different layout, but same, same thing. Oh. It's 1,000? I mean, yeah. Ooh, what is this? Refurbished. Or does that mean it's better? No, that's just, okay, I see. But, I mean, I assume we want this, yes. Oh, okay, fun. So they incorporated the upgrade bench and the shop kind of in the same place. I'm trying to remember, or was this, did, this was this the same then? Or if you got the upgrade suit, or the engineer suit would always be at the shop. I guess it would have been. First plasma cutter. First game plasma cutter. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hell yeah, Isaac. Flex, dude. Ha! <laughs> he cracks his neck. Yeah! He's back, baby. And now back to shopping. <laughs> I feel like I should sell some of this stuff. Uh, I got plenty of space. I mean, should I get this plasma cutter? I guess if it's zero. Seems foolish not to. All right. That's interesting, they'd give you both. I mean, this one has the eh, same kind of spread. Why would they give you both? That's really weird. Is it like some weird Game Pass thing? Or because they know that I played the last game? They gave it to me? It's a really weird detail. They know. They know what I played. Oh no! We're doing the thing! Okay, okay. Alright, they're absolutely gonna throw an enemy in this first space on. I think they're gonna test our metal. Oh. Okay. Generous of you, game. Wait, really? I'm still in space? Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Could just wait a while for the door to close. Wow! Great camera work. That, that's really crazy. That's really smooth. That's really painful. That was very surprising. Most surprising. Do you like my refurbished gun? Jesus, I cannot hit. Garbage. Stop it! Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do. Slow him down. Okay, I get hit. Um, there we go. Maybe I should go for the arms first, huh? Okay, let's use this. And let's not get hit by you. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy. Buddy, 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 you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down, buddy. Up! Oh. Yeah, that was stupid not to go for the glowing arms before, wasn't it? Up! Oh. Okay, recharge right now, buddy. I'll take any pot shot I can get. I'm not proud. Hell yeah. God damn! Jesus, that thing was angry. Probably shouldn't have thrown that semiconductor. I'm out of the hospital. Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? 
three years. What? Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you are awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyvon tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. That's cool. The three-year gap, that's really great. Because how long was Ripley out in Aliens? Does anybody remember? It was also like a shocking amount of time, right? I know you want me to go that way, but... Ah, uh, it was right here. I could have used that the whole time. The whole time. Okay. Thanks again to everybody... <laughs> My mouth is blowing it. Thanks to everybody who supported our charity drive so far. Uh, going back to the start of it from, you know, I'd argue about 3 p.m. Central today. But the last couple donors, David Olson, followed the link on the screen, gave a big donation. Christopher Cuevas, we appreciate it. Um, like decades, her daughter died to old age. That's right, that's right. Uh, here's what I could do, is do this. And we'll give you a shout out on the stream and, and more. Uh, to help teach kids an instrument. This is me explaining the message that I'm going to start copying and pasting in chat. So if you follow that link in the chat window, uh, we'll give you a shout out if you donate any amount. We appreciate the support. Not going to us, mind you, going to Hopewell Music in North Minneapolis, who I found because when we launched Crossfade last year, I reached out to Emily Reese, dear friend of the show, and said like, hey, do you know of any like music related charities? And she's like, oh yeah, there's this music school that's dying for funding. It's going into business. Um, they could really use some support. And so that's how we lined this whole thing up. So thanks to Emily Reese. Thanks to John Skavik for subbing on Twitch. We appreciate it. Sprintstar says she was, Ripley was out in space for 57 years after Alien. That's very helpful to know. So three, I mean, Isaac can't even complain. That's no big whoop. That's like a space nap. Oh, what do we got down here? What do we got down here? All right, I will do that. And let's see, that was B. Yes. Get out of here. This is what an engineer does best, baby. Am I missing something? Ah, of course. No. Oh, there's gonna be something in here. There's gonna be something in here. There's no universe where there's not something in here. Oh. Told you I was safe. Really nice camera work. Honestly, did you guys notice that? That was wild. Wild stuff. Oh, finally, an audio log. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast out, so tell everyone you see. Okay, so they still have the workbench. Cool. Let's see what we got here. All right, four nodes. Um, normally, I'd go rig. But uh, let's go for basic. See, I feel like it's weird. Now you're dividing. Do they have the same? Yeah. Dividing that seems odd. But let's go ahead and pump this sucker up. Oh, crap. Should have got capacity. Oh, I don't want to use the last one, though. Oh. Oh, blew it. Who cares about reload speed? I'm going to do it. I'm getting that capacity. All offense, no defense. Name of this game. I know they're gonna put a stupid door that I need to go in right away. I need to use the power note on that, don't I? 
They're gonna torture me. I know they're gonna freaking torture me. Oh! Blind gun! Javelin gun! What are you? Pneumatic spear launcher. Well, I already kind of have spears. They're all around the spaceship. 11 thou. 9 thou. Let's, uh, let's sell just one of these. And then let's get that line, long, or line gun, huh? Let's go for this. Pale Pilgrim, so Ben, did you get the achievement in the first game for sticking with the original plasma cut of the entire game? No. Um, no, I did not. Um, I think, I forget, did Kyle stick with it? I forget what he said. Um, honestly, that second... Oh, hell yeah. That second, uh... Little plasma gun. Plasma cutter is not really... It's just kind of confusing. This is really cool. What a cool environment. Uh oh! Ah! He's moving up me faster! He's moving up me faster! It's not fair! Slow down! Cool it! Hey! Freeze, buddy! I said freeze! I said I'll miss again! Don't make me! Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, 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 I got it. Now you need to stop it. Okay. Well, there we go. Is that too much to ask that you just stop doing that thing that you love doing? Nope, not you. Filling this up a little bit. Uh, all right. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I have a semiconductor. Thank you for reminding me. Shoot. I should have used that to get that new weapon. Dang it. Fool of a took. God, it was right there. How much is it? 3,000? Oh! Honestly, let me get rid of this crap. Wait. Which one's the new one? Okay, yeah, let's get rid of you. Wait, is that the one I upgraded? Ah, crap. Go. Hello, how do you play games again? Go. Which one did I upgrade? Oh, it upgrades both. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of that other one. Uh, Badoofta. <laughs> Uh, are you more damage, but less health, or more health, but less damage? Uh, honestly, normally, I'm more health, less damage kind of guy. I'm, uh, I'm all in on defense, typically. But for this stream, I thought, let's, let's go nuts. I know it's zero credits, but I genuinely don't even like having it in my inventory. I don't like that confusion. I just like being as clean as possible here. Unless there's some reason that I should keep it around, but I can't think of what that would be. Uh, again, thank you to David Olson, Christopher Cuevas, Susan Allison, Michael uh, M. Mate, mate, just a sec. Um, for supporting uh, the charity on the screen. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your support. Now, let's go for a little pleasure cruise. See, who says Isaac can't have fun? Make me oh wake me when it's over master chief here all right let's definitely remember to save this sucker Phil program says you've been surprisingly stable and calm throughout this you know what I gotta say some scary stuff obviously press Y when stasis is low Oh, cool. All right, they have that on a shortcut now, too. That's really cool. I really am scared easily by games. Even playing Dead Space 1. All right, hang on. I, I spoke too soon. It was not the scariest thing to me. It was right here. Oh, it was right there, of course. Earth, Gov, or Liars. Earth of girls are earth -y. Jesus. No! You want more? Oh, no! Can I... 
Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, I feel like those take less hits now than the first one. That's really nice. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 got a power node. All right, hopefully that door isn't locked behind me. Because boy, do I got a place to be. And it's the fortune machine. All right, let's go check out that door. You can come. All right, here we go. Look at that. Everything works out well. See, this is this is design 101. I love that idea, Bill Program, of you see the stream and you're like, I need to get an Xbox Series X. <laughs> it's pretty cool because you can play Dead Space on it, which is true. So you can just depress all planet cracking activity is more in support. However, Titan Station continues to post small profit. We'd still by the cash influx from Earth Coast scientific research and operations facilities, human needs, and services organizations get spared. Okay, cool. Little, little lore for the station we're on. Oh my god, look at all this. Hot dog, we have a wiener. Look at this. How much money do I have now? Okay. And we have that gold semiconductor. We could probably get our way up to a javelin here. Let's do it. Let's see some new stuff. <laughs> Box! <laughs> Isaac has truly lost it. Okay. Here we go. People saying Dead Space 2 is not maybe as scary as the first. That could be. That could be. I don't want to sell that. Uh, Alright, so... What am I doing again? Oh, I'm trying to shop for javelin gun. 11,000. Well, let's go ahead and sell this. We're so close. Ah, line racks. Ellie, we need to sell the line racks. Um, okay, so let's just do that little bit there. And then we get this badass thing. Primary, launch javelin. Press R, we'd electrify the last javelin that was launched. So I can like launch it into somebody and then electrify it after the fact. That sounds very good. Very good. Very good game alert. Very good game. Okay. Oh boy. All right, reminder again. Help teach kids to play an instrument. You could create the next great musician here in Minneapolis by supporting that link at any price. You'll get a shout out on the stream and a shout out again, and when the whole charity drive is over. All right, now let's take care of business. Hey! Oh, I want to see that. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> oh, you dirty dog! How the hell? Eat it! Very good. Very good. God, after so much time playing these games and talking about these games, they can still get me with that stupid surprise from behind. Okay. Now, is everyone gonna be cool over here or is Isaac gonna have to put out some frickin' fires? Because you kids don't know how to deal with a necromorph. Hello, Trooper. Thanks for being here. Pale Pilgrim cites a wise man when he says, There's your tomb, asshole. <laughs> From the Mega Man Legends Super Replay, everybody. Mega Man Legends. Oh. Yes. Hang on. We don't have time for scary things. Uh, Math I've Penneth. Gave us a big sub on Twitch. Thank you so much. Uh, cool guy Slime. I'm sorry, Slim. Gave a big sl uh, big slub, big slubber on <laughs> on Switch. <laughs> Slow Sly Slim gave a big slub on Switch. So thanks so much for that. We appreciate it. Um, also, thank you to a new charity donor as well. 
boy, do we appreciate you even more than somebody throwing a sub our way. Uh, PJK donated $10 to Hopewell Music. Thank you so much, PJK. PJK and other music references. Thank you, PJK. Now, what's a guy got to do to not be in here right now? It is really funny to me that, you know, it's like, God, I wish Isaac talked in that first game. What was he thinking? Turns out he was thinking exactly what you would think he'd be thinking, which is, holy shit, look how big that thing is. Oh my God. Why is that guy waiting for a bus? And other such questions. Look at this guy. Isaac, Isaac over here. I'm not interested. I am interested in this fella. This fella only. <laughs> well, my skin's getting peeled off, so time to look at the surroundings. Who are you? Sorry, buddy. They gave us drugs to make us forget, but it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac, Isaac, look out. Why, what do you know? Is it gonna be that invincible thing? What the hell? I just looked over there. Get out of here. That's interesting. That's ambitious. Oh, I hate these guys. Stop it. And one for measure. Okay. All right. Now is everyone gonna be cool? I'm still getting used to these new controls here. I feel like I'm gonna really blow it when I need to not be blowing it. Well, I got javelin spears, so how bad can it be? Those were really fun. I really love that. I like the javelin spears more than I like hearing people getting murdered in the distance. I'm not my we have to go now. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fun to see more. No! I was trying to talk, Necromorph. I was saying. Um. It's fun to see more humans that don't just immediately die. You actually get to see them run away and stuff, you know? <laughs> is this a tumbleweed? <laughs> Keep those doggies rolling. I know they say don't shoot you in the head, but you were just too horrific. I'm sorry I had to. Now give me your money. Money, money, money. It's all Isaac cares about. Did they really do a jump scare with a toilet flush? Diabolical. Come on, you guys. Yep, 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 yep. See that? I can do that to every last one of ya. If anybody wants to be a hero, may I remind you of the face of what you could become. Now stop it. I'm talking to you, buddy. Leave that head there. Ugh, these aren't fun sounds. Washing machines? Oh, stop it. Stop it, game. It's like they got the message that the door was a captivatingly loud thing, and now they're just cramming as many loud machinery pieces around as they can. Is there a baby in the washing machine? Which reminds me, it's time to check the charity total for Hopewell Music. PJK, thank you for your donation. 
David Olson, thank you for your donation. We appreciate it. Christopher Cuevas, we appreciate your donation. Susan Allison, thank you so much for donating to Hopewell Music. Michael M., thank you for donating. Jeremy Tanner, we appreciate your donation to Hopewell Music. Jacob Schmidt, thank you. Zach I, we appreciate it. Joseph McMartin, Mark Smiley, Ian Clark, Matthew Lynch, Andrew Valla, David Nanetti, Ben Denavi, Bob Buell, Austin Wintery, Justin Hornick, thank you for supporting a small community music school in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You're creating the next generation of musicians and we appreciate your support. Follow the link on the screen to make your donation. Here we go now. Whew, for the kids, says Pale Pilgrim. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Hey! I don't care if you are just getting your laundry. It's not fun anymore. Okay. Three legs? That's your kryptonite. Do you really think that you're gonna be different? Ah! <laughs> no! Oh! Everybody on this space station is bad news. Are you a secret tall guy? You didn't tell me you were part of this experience. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, game. All right, game, all right, game. We get it, we get it, we get it. Stab it, stab it. You stay back, and you stay back. I don't care, this must be going for your stupid limbs right now. Are we finished? Please. Have you learned your lesson? Have you learned your lesson? Okay, I'm gonna use a little health. By that I mean I'm gonna press the wrong button. All right, I hope everybody's okay with that. Whew. Oh, here we go, a Pale Pilgrim asks, have I checked out Master of the Universe Revelation yet? I watched the first episode. Um, I'm not into He-Man at all, but I like Kevin Smith and I like um, uh, Griffin Newman, obviously a lot from Blank Check. Um, so I was very interested in his Orko. It seemed fine. Um, I know that he did a full commentary track with Kevin Smith for one of the episodes, so I'm gonna definitely listen to that. Somebody says, I've got something on my boot. You ever wonder what the bottom of my guitar shoe look like? <laughs> oh, bam. There it is. Um, hey, what about this for a little game? How about for every donation to Hopewell Music, the link on the screen and the link in the chat right now on Twitch, I'll up the volume on the game a little bit. That's the old game? Does that seem like a plan? Pale Pilgrim says I need to watch it for memes and stuff. Yeah. Clerks 3 started filming. Says Mexian. Yeah. Very skeptical about that. I really wish Scott Mosier was involved. Okay. If you want the game to be louder, make that donation to Hopewell Music. Follow that link on the screen, and we'll up it in your name. And everybody knows the louder it is, the scarier it is. And everybody at home, make sure you crank it as well. Everybody at home has to turn up the volume on their speakers as well. Okay. I gotta learn my shortcuts here. Okay, so shotgun on the right. And then go back to a baby laundry machine. Is that the way to go? Don't come to the Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, no donations yet to charity. We'll see how this goes. I've got a little man pack for you. Got some good lore? Planet cracking history. Discovery of the United Field Theory. Oh. Gravity. Tron, the same manner where you're controlling the electron. 
Oh, Moon Harvest of Titan. Interesting. That's fun. As far as they would be willing to go. That's that's some fun world building. I like that. I like that stuff. Okay. We got a donor yet? There are necromorphs everywhere. Is we don't have a donor yet. Infected? Interesting. Interesting, everybody. The was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyman built another one. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyman wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's planet. Dana? Damn it. That's the sci-fi spelling of Dana. I doubt he reaches it in this stream, but I really hope the church holds up. This is Matthew. Sorry, Math Ive. That's interesting. There's a church in the game. That sounds cool. I always thought the eye stuff was right at the beginning. So this is surprising to me that I haven't hit the eye stuff yet. Zach B donated $10 to Hopewell Music, the community music school in North Minneapolis, with a simple message. It says, up that volume. All right, let's wait for some loud thing and then I'll up it for you, Zach. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Zach? All right. Okay, we're at negative six decibels. You can bring it higher for this crying baby if you really want to, anybody. Oh, what good timing, Zach. Amazing. Hey, we can crank it up more. If we get more donations to come through, the link is on the screen, everybody. We got a baby crying on the horizon. <sighs> okay. Let me know. Let me know if you're gonna donate. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my lord. Okay, she's dead. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. Whew. All right. Gotta say, Zach B, that's all thanks to you. Thanks for your donation to Hopewell Music. We appreciate it. You're having an impact on all of our lives with that type of jump scare moment. Only thankful to your volume. Okay, so let's... This crap out of here. Isaac has to do everything just because I'm an engineer. I'm the only one that can move frickin' laundry. Let's shoot it down the hole. Just... <laughs> Alright. Okay. I think it's a baby. I can't think of anything else in the Dead Space universe that would sound like that. Okay. I saw you, buddy. Shaking that alien booty. Holy oh, shit. good God! Oh, the clogger's out. The clogger's out, you guys. The clogger. That's cool. Oh my God, this is really cool. I actually seen a city in Dead Space. That's awesome. All right. Is he gonna be the final boss? Is it the clogger? Okay. I'm trying to talk about the clogger. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I know your stupid game. I just hate you so much. Stop it! Where is he? Where are you? Okay, that's where I thought. Stop it! Eat it. It meaning my plasma cutter. Good God. Stay down, buddy. Whew. All right, all right. Pale Pilgrim says, everyone who's donated so far, God among men. I agree. I completely agree. All right. Small med pack, don't mind if I do. What else do I got? I will use that second one. Uh, 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 
God, everything is so loud. Oh my God, okay, those visuals are tough. Okay, okay, safe and sound. Well, we won't have very safe sound if people keep donating to charity and making us raise the volume, I'll tell you that much. Stop it. Oh no. Now what do we got here? Stop it, stop it! What the hell? Stop that. What, is something in the room? Oh! God dang it. You're a very bad man. It looked like they were above me, didn't it? Okay, okay, okay. So if you just spend too much time in this room, they just start launching these idiots at you? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll take that health pack. Now, is everyone gonna be cool? Can I do my thing? How am I supposed to- oh, now it's unlocked. Did I miss something? Why would I do that? Hang on, let me check the volume levels for the stream here. Okay, no one's donated to charity again. Just Zach B is the last hero. Willing to support the kids. Teach them how to play a musical instrument. Thank you, Zach B, again. We appreciate it. Oh, boy. This is pretty messed up. Nicole! I love you! Ah! Is this Ghostbusters? Objective added. Board the ghost train. Yeah, I guess that's telling it. I went to chapter two without um, getting on the train here. So I guess that's not how it's divided up this time around. Can I get down there? No. But wait a minute. I have a secret. Probably be using that more, huh? All right. I think I'm alone now. I think. Nope, 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 nope. Stop it. Open the door. Open the freaking door, man. Ah, oh, I hate those things. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, you can open the door with your stupid arms? Stop it! Stop it! Stop touching the people! Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. I don't even care about you. I truly do not care about you. I only care about the flying thing. Oh, okay. Flying racks. Don't forget about the line racks. Go down the train. Light speed. Whew. Stasis, somebody says. Yeah, you're right. I this is now that you're seeing me play, yeah, I never I don't use stasis as much as I should, especially because it regenerates here. You're right that I absolutely absolutely should do that. Okay. Here we go. And it's why for stasis, I believe. Whereas my question is typically why use stasis? Great, I can't wait for somebody to freaking jump out on me. I'm ready for someone to bring out the sun. Okay. Uh, something's gonna jump out behind me. I don't mind this. This is kind of fun. It's like one half of the little Batman sequence, right? Yep. 
One shot to the legs. One stomp to your head. It's fun. It's like the good old days riding my train. In the first game. Hey! Yep, look. I don't care how new you are, you just are not a good enemy. You can't bother to spit on me, it's not cool. No ticket. Okay. Is this a javelin I can use? That's fine. Is that sticking in the door up there? Oh, I'm using my javelin gun. Okay. Here we go. Alright. We've got it all. Oh. Ah! Hang on, I'm already in the scariest part of the train. You can't do that to me. Alright, buddy. So, can you open a door? What is this exchange? then pick it up. That's pretty crazy. Look at all these javelins I've wasted. Javelins are... Ah! Okay. Alright. All well and good. You fight hand to hand in Dead Space as Pale Pilgrim? I mean, I guess I could. That sounds terrible. Aye, 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 aye. Yep. Excuse me. Coming through, sir. What? Crazy. Great camera work, Visceral. Good job. I don't have much left. You better not come here. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Yep. Waiting for anybody else there. Oh, we're getting low, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Just, I'm just reloading real quick. If you just want to just. Now, does anybody else want to say something to me? Oh my god!
very last of us there, isn't it? Obviously two years before last of us. But. What happened? I thought we lost you. Unscheduled stop. Where am I? How did you end up there? Hang on. This won't be the most pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. Damn it! Time and hyper signal again. Who's moving? Okay. You're very important to the Isaac. Hold tight. I'll contact you soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should I be taking my javelins with me? Because that was a little hairy. I'm a little perturbed here. Okay, I don't want you right now. All right, they gave me some more ammo. Okay. All right, we can head this way. We can head this way, we can head this way. Oh, we can head this way. I'm sorry, I just have singing on the mind because of our charity drive. The link is on the top of the screen in the chat right now. Uh, if you donate any amount, I'll uh, give you a shout out on the stream and then give you a shout out at the end for a big wrap up charity stream as well. Uh, thanks again to the last couple donors, Zach B, PJK, David Olson, Christopher Cuevas, Susan Allison, we appreciate your support. Uh, raising money for Hopewell Music. It's in honor of Crossfade, our music podcast. So we appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Let's take that. It's only a schematic. I was combining two different movies there. All right, let's head on up, I guess. Plasma cutter on the left. Plasma cutter on the left. Don't forget. And here's my locker. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, buddy. I hear ya. I'm picking up what ails ya. And it's a save thing. Um, let's see. Pale Pilgrim asks, have you ever played The Forest? Yeah, um, I liked it. I liked survival games. Um, I didn't get that far. Honestly, I didn't really see a lot of the enemies in that game, so I must not have got very far at all. Because um, I hear that it's scary and spooky in it. I might have seen something in the distance, but yeah, nothing really stands out. Oh, is this Metal Gear Solid 2? Okay, bye! Thanks for your power, Node, nerd! Hey, Node, now it really is Metal Gear Solid 2. Ah! Oh god, there's no time for jokes! It's like one shot to his chest took him out? That can't be right. I don't buy it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a joke to do. It's imagining somebody else coming in here. This is all they see. I mean, it's not a great joke, but there's something there. It's kind of fun you can do that. Okay. Back to this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. How, um, how far am I from the eye se sequence here? I bet that's modeled on somebody. Fun. This is a really different environment. It's really cool to see him kind of. Okay. All right. All right, little baby boys. We're we're good here. We're good. Now we're really good. Oh, is this a clown car? Will you cool? Okay. All right. I forgot it's dead space. Okay. Yep. I got you. I got you, kid. I got you. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. What the hell? How many of you are there? I'm going to tell your mothers. Stop it. 
Stop it! Go back to hell! Oh my god. All right, all right, Dead Space. Oh, Jesus. Still alive. We can't talk. I think they're tracking our signals. The memories come back to you. They're coming back to me. The good ones. And the bad ones. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. They're just all pinatas. The symbols too, Isaac. In him, they keep seeing his face. Whew. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Is there anything we can grab now? I like the jingles. More nursery stuff, huh? Concourse mezzanine. We got a store. I feel like we have a lot of credits. I don't know what I'll buy here, though. Oh, very far away from the eye thing? God, in my memory, that was like the opening of the game, really. That's interesting. Oh, pulse rifle. Dear old friend. To me, you're royalty. Let's... What was that weird sound? Okay, we could probably use some more of that. All right. Well, I feel like, um, were those enemies in the first game? No, those weren't. There were like the little babies that popped out the three tentacles and all that fun stuff, but those enemies weren't in the first game. But I think I'm nearing the end of um, this min-max plays for, for Dead Space 2. But I would keep playing for a little bit if we got a donation to charity, uh, which is at the top. If you donate any amount to Hopewell Music, we'll keep going a little bit longer. So, okay. God, scary. Uh, so if you follow that link, donate any amount. Uh, we'll give you a big shout out on stream and you're helping to fund a uh, community music school in North Minneapolis to give some disadvantaged kids uh, some access to lessons and to instruments that they wouldn't have before. So thanks to everybody who's donated so far. Of course, we have Zach B, we have PJK, David Olson, Suzanne. Uh, everybody's doing a fantastic job. We're nearing our goals. So thanks to everybody for helping us hit that. What is happening? This is dead space? That is so weird. Hey, Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath. Every time Isaac starts talking, I think it's like somebody else. Like, I am not used to his voice yet, so I'm like, oh, who's this audio log? What is this? Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> I'll be careful because he killed his wife and child. We got Peng. Peng's back. Levitations. That's fun. I, I'm not trying to be cruel. I actually was not sure if she was a necromorph body. But they wouldn't have put that there, would they? Yeah, this... this Art direction is really fantastic. Attention. This is okay. Let's see what you got. Altman's footsteps. Oh, I'm interested in this. We, the children of the marker, grow tired of the oppressive, thinly veiled attacks from EarthGov on our right to worship as we please. Reduced hours of operation for the church. Five marshal fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events, permits. Needed to distribute literature. These are all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth, our truth, and they will not succeed. The blasphemous, short-sighted, reckless, destructive, and hopeless path that EarthGov has us on is a dead end. One that has only unitology, one that only unitology has the answer to. Altman has foreseen it, and we are blessed to execute it. Prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is nigh. That's kind of fun. So it's like kind of a reunion-style thing. 
yeah, it is really impressive, Real Deal 1, just uh, the different different art from the first game so far and the environments. It's really awesome. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. Were the logs in the first game audio logs or text logs too? Yeah, they had both. The text logs would automatically pop up in Dead Space 1 though. And here you have to press that button. Is that a ping thing? What am I looking at? Is that a unitology symbol? Very, very Dana, odd. I thought you were routing me to residential. This looks like a unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Very well. Very well, I shall. Okay. All right. I think I get it. A lot of a lot of church backstory here. This is cool. Oh, no, this is a combat arena. Yep. See you, kiddos. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? He just made the box art for the first game. What the hell? That was so wild. Okay, so don't shoot the explosive guy? Or what's what's the takeaway here? That's really interesting. Okay. It's so nice to have these enemies with just one shot. Oh, okay, not you. You're not one shot. You come in here, and then you blow up. Like a gentleman. That's cool. They really wanted to show that off. Oh, okay. All right. No more explosive men, please. Yep, I see you. 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 If I see you, you're as good as dead, so just stop coming out. Stop playing. Stop playing, you stupid babies. Okay. Hope y'all learned a lesson. There's a lock you have to shoot after. Oh, is that right? Okay, close the door. Now we can head over here. Come on. Is this guy playing poker by himself? Can't hear you, Necromorphs! Too busy getting your sweet bonuses! Okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot back at them. Cool. Watch. Watch. That's funny. Little tutorial video. Stay alive. Three hours using this trick. You see? Just shoot it back at them. <laughs> oh, hey, Brandon Russell. Thanks for donating to the charity on the screen, to Hopewell Music. Appreciate it. Pretty bad at So I hope this helps you out. Whoever you are. Also, I love you. What's going on out here? All right. Little backtrack and never hurt anybody. Watch. Okay, remember stasis. I really want you to remember stasis. Jesus. They are not messing around with how loud that is. I wish they would mess around more. 
remember to like and subscribe, says Ludo. Funny. Um, I, uh, I'll keep this node. I'll keep this node on me. Like it's my child. Mind if I do. Let's turn down all this crap. Okay. Ah. All right. Let's go see how zero G looks in this game. Okay. Are you gonna jump out? Yeah. At least I was looking, though. At least I was looking, though. Jesus Christ, fast man. Hey, hey, hey. I'm taking care of your brother. You stay where you are. You stay where you are. You see what I do to you? You see what you make me do? All right. Is everyone okay? What did we learn here today? Oh boy, I could really use some more health, huh? This guy loves his javelins and his spikes, doesn't he? Okay. Alright, let's see you, Zero G. Let's see how they upgraded this stuff. Launch and land. Click the left stick. Weird. Okay. And so that's where I'm aiming. Oh. Oh, weird. Okay, now I have free control. Is that limited by anything? Is it taking my stasis to do this or anything? Oh boy. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm gonna get sick here. Okay, that's cool that that still works. Um, oh, yep, not doing great. Okay, let's just get out of here. Will this open? No. Let's head down here. This is really interesting compared to the last one. Okay. Stay out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, now we're gonna have no oxygen in here. Is that kind of the takeaway, do you think? Oh, Linda Banks just donated $50 to Hopewell Music. Thank you so much, Linda Banks. Appreciate it. Are you watching the stream, Linda, or are you just a donor? Shout out if you're in the stream. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, so we gotta just float down here now, eh? Is this really what you want from me, game? Ah! Ah! All right, so boost it. Orient to ground, orient to ground. Come in ground. That's cool. If you see me walking down the street, zero G baby, that's me. We got no Z, G. We got no G, we got no G. We got an OG. All right. Uh... Ah! Not right now, please. I'm looking. 
looking around for things. You wouldn't understand. You're a freaking necromorph. You don't know how hard it is to be, Isaac Clark. Oh no. Not you. I hate you in the original game. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Okay. It snaps in there a hell of a lot better. That's really nice to see. I will use this. Thank you. I hear Starfield is likely going to have gravity levels. Interesting. Blake Kester says, Ben, I know you're not good with gore, right? How do you stomach Dead Space? I'm playing two right now. It's remarkably gross. Yeah, I really don't like gore. Um, I'm a lot better when it's like for stupid aliens, but I don't like blood and movies. Like, the last thing I am on planet Earth is one of those people. And uh, nothing wrong with these people. But somebody like dear friend Dan Reichert, right? Who it's like, if something like bloody happens in a movie, it's like, oh yeah! Like, I've never gotten a thrill out of that whatsoever. Like Mortal Kombat fatalities and all that, it's just like, this is too much. This is a little silly. Um, somebody asked, how do I stomach being friends with Tim Turry? I think Tim Turry appreciate, but I don't think he's like applauding at the screen when there's a bunch of blood and stuff, I guess. But yeah, you know, takes all kinds. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. Oh, I forgot I have that pulse rifle. I haven't been using that. All right, up the elevator we go. Let's see what's going on up here. All right. Renowned Gorehound, says so Pale Pilgrim. Yeah. Gorehound. What's the point of the lower little slits in that Isaac Clark mask? Is that so we can breathe out of it? Suspiciously safe elevator rhyme. Okay. Ooh, mama. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, my friends, my friends! You're back, you came back to see me from Dead Space 1, I missed you so. This room seems messed up. This is a really big deal, the rebirth. It's gonna happen very soon, just like they said, this is a very special time, like once in a lifetime, actually once in a million lifetimes. Okay, this is some... Guys, this is some spooky stuff. I think I'll keep the pulse rifle out. You can't have those little chimes. Yep! Let's dance, egghead! It'd be a shame if I had to turn it up right now if somebody donated to charity. My skin's crawling just thinking about it. Okay, that's where I came from. Ugh, so it's just like a big suicide room? Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna have some nightmares of Night Boy. Drop it. Drop the body! Blake says Dead Space kind of gets to him with the gore. Yeah, it is a lot. Oh. Just a little reason will scare most ghosts away, I found. Nicole is dead. Didn't you play chapter 1 through 12 of Dead Space and spell out the first letter? Are they really flushing another toilet? That's crazy town. Here? Hurry! 
Harry. I don't trust Dana. She's up to no good. Everybody's up to no good in this game. That's all I know for sure. Javelin stuck over there. Okay. That's really funky. It's a pretty funky thing. Okay. Alright. And let's go ahead and get on the elevator. Cassini Towers. It's the name of the probe, right? Cassini? Now Cassini, now you don't. All right, I think that'll be it for uh, this round of Dead Space 2. Thanks to everybody who watched this, and thanks to everybody who donated uh, to the link on the screen to Hopewell Music for the charity drive. Thanks again to everybody who's donated, like Linda Banks, Brandon Russell, Zach B, PJK, David Olson, Christopher Cueva, Susan Allison, Michael Machesek. I know you just told me. Uh, Jeremy Tanner, uh, Jacob Schmidt, Zach Eink, Joseph Dowdy, Joseph McMartin, Martin Smiley, Ian Clark, Matthew Lynch, Andrew Valla, David Yanity, Beth Dunaway, Bob Buell, Austin Winery, Dustin Harning, Stephen McGregor, Alexandra Snyder, Mitchell Henziar, Matt Helgeson, Charles McGregor, very generous, a developer of HyperDot. Please check out that game. Gareth Coker, Jonathan Borden, Fernando... Orozco and everybody else, thank you so much. Uh, this charity drive is going to be running for two weeks, so thanks everybody for being a good sport and jumping out there and supporting Hopewell Music. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks everybody who uh, follows us on Twitch as well. God's Garage, Moist Goose Flesh, you got to change that name, bro. Pale Pilgrim, Ludo Kyoto, everyone's been a huge help. Thanks for uh, being a good sport and watching me get scared and miss some shots. Um, let's see. Who should we raid? I think we should raid Mary Kish. Um, because we've raided other people quite a bit, but let's mix those audiences. Let's go over to Mary Kish and say hi there. All right, ready? Here we go. All right. Getting ready to raid Mary Kish. It goes a little something like this. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much, and raid now. Love ya.